Hi and welcome to the last video of this series. In this video, you will learn how to implement four features in our app to make it more customizable and professional. These features are number one, reset, number two, add new term, number three, rate app, and number four, share app. I am so excited to teach you these interesting features and I hope that you will apply them in your own project as well. So, without further ado, let's get started. If you want to master Android apps and games development, click subscribe and the bell icon. And let's do this together. Open activity underscore main dot XML. Create a horizontal linear layout and create two inner horizontal linear layouts for reset and add new term. Check the design. Use the filler view to move the second linear layout to the right side of the screen. Similarly, Create a horizontal linear layout and create two inner horizontal linear layouts for rate and share. Check the design now. Use the filler view again. The interface looks good to me. I will put some spaces after add new to make it more aligned. Better now. Next, generate the methods that we have provided in onclick attributes. A 
Again, we will use Android Alert dialog to ask the user about his or her choice to continue or discontinue the reset operation. I have explained Alert dialog in a previous video, so if you have any query, go check that out. Here, we will call a method to copy the database file from assets folder to databases folder, overwriting the old file in databases folder. We will pass main activity dot this in this method for context. Let's define reset db in pre-create db class. Change the formal argument to context context. Let's declare the two string variables in class scope so that we don't have to keep two copies. Next, copy the try catch block from copy db. Next, go to main activity and finish creating the reset method. Run the app to make sure it's working properly. Click A and you will see few dots at the end of the full form of ANSI that was entered in a previous video. Click the reset text. Ok, it's clickable. Now click the reset image button and click yes. Check the full form for ANSI now. It's back to original. Perfect. Next, define the add new method. We will use an intent to go to a new activity called add new. Click add new, press alt enter and create the class. Extend app compact activity. Overwrite the on create method. Call set content view and pass a layout file. Click add underscore new, press alt enter and create the layout resource file. Type linear layout for root element. For the root linear layout, keep some padding and change the gravity to center. Create a text view to show the title. Create two edit texts to take input for term and its full form respectively. Check the design. Just remove this layout underscore gravity attribute from text view since it is redundant. Create an image button to save record in database. and a text view to show the result of the operation. Next, go to add new class and declare the view object references. Declare a database adapter object reference since we will be calling a method in database adapter. Instantiate database adapter. 
get the handles for views. Go to add underscore new dot XML and generate the method add new term in add new class. In add new term method, get the values of term and full form from edit texts and stored in strings. Check if both the edit texts are not empty. If true, call a method in database adapter and pass term and full form as parameter. Let's define insert term in database adapter. Define a new content values object. Add the term and full form into that. Call insert method on db object and return the return value from insert to add new class. Next, go to add new class. If row inserted is not minus 1, then the record has been successfully inserted. Otherwise, there was a problem. Accordingly, we will show a message in text view. When any edit text is empty, show an error message in text view. Let's run the app to check the code. As you can see, the app is crashed when we click the add new text. It's because we have not added an activity in manifest for the add new class. So, quickly do that. Run the app now. Click the add new text. Go back and click the add new image button. I am going to type CTR for term and click through rate for its full form. Click the save button and as you can see our app is crashed again. It's because in the add new class, we have picked a wrong ID for the edit text for full form. Let's run the app now. I am going to add CTR and its full form again and click the save button. We got a message here, one term successfully inserted. Go back, click C and there you can see the newly added term with its meaning. Fantastic! Next, we will implement the rate app and share app feature. In rate method, create an intent that opens a URL in Google Play. As you configure this intent, pass com.android.bending into intent.setPackage method so that users see your app's details in the Google Play Store app instead of a chooser. Make sure your emulator has Google Play app. Call start activity method with the intent in a try block. In the catch block, use a toast message to let the user know that the Play Store app could not be launched.
run the app to test the code. Click the image button for a red tab. As you can see, it's trying to open the Google Play app. After sign in with your Google account, you will see the apps page in Google Play app. Great. Next, let's define the share app method. Store the text to be shared in a string. Create a send intent. Set the sharing type. Pass your sharing content using the put extra method of the intent. Next, instruct Android system to let the user choose their sharing medium. This will pass the send intent along with a title to be displayed at the top of the chooser. When the user chooses an application from the list, your shared content will be passed to that application, where he or she will be able to edit the content before sending it, if they wish to do so. Run the application to test the code. Click the image button for share app. The chooser opens up from where you can select an app to share your text. I am selecting messages app. I am gonna send a new message. I will type the mobile number. There you can see the text that was sent through our app. Perfect. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the Android plus SQLite Build a Dictionary app tutorial series and successfully created your own app based on what you have learned. If you have any questions, write those in the comment box below. Please like and share the video so that others can learn. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get a notification every time I upload a new video. See you in another video. Take care.